All right, so I now have the tools required to do the swap from a Mark V to Mark VI um, <clears throat> instrument cluster. So this, on the right, we have the Mark VI GTI cluster. On the left, we have the Mark VI G, um, Jetta cluster. So for the, the Mark VI Jetta cluster fits perfectly in the Mark V, or should fit perfectly in the Mark V. Same exact shape because the GTI cluster has these two these two rings and this just this front piece is all wrong so I'll be putting the front piece the glass not the dials from this onto the GTI cluster and then that will fit perfectly in the car I have already deleted the immobilizer information from this and will simply <clears throat> oh cut with harness blah 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 yeah, so backing is the same. And so this is the harness adapter, which takes my stock Mark V 36 pin cable thing, rather, and put it on the 32 pin Mark VI. Yeah. <clears throat> And then, apart from the other tools that I have been using, this would be the evil tool. Um, whatever this is, um, I don't know. One of these, one of these tools for, for one of these tools for the mechatronic unit in the DSG. I just don't know which one it is yet. Um, <clears throat> This you push push your new key in there and tag it for pairing evil CD. You know Chinese stuff they always give you the CD with it. Mm. Oh, this would be the OBD tool which does I guess more multiple protocols. This is buy a bunch of stuff bunch of just cables um, and adapters for things I have no idea <sighs> I should and this is another one of these which does something different from this they do, they do two different things I would have to look back at the instructions to find out which one does what and this is the brain itself. The little brains behind the operation. So I know this is the tag portion, the tag pin, go, the tag connector, that's these. Go here and the OBD portion that does the actual immobilizer stuff goes here. And then this does stuff. Um, so as you can see, this is in no way the original. Um, this is a clone, a Chinese clone of AVDI from Abritis, A, a Brites, A B R I T E S. I can't pr pronounce that properly, but um, <clears throat> yeah. So time to get to work. And oh yes, yeah, some sort of I guess five dollar I don't know if it's a five dollar coupon but no not a coupon nothing. Anyway time to get to work. Oh right so the part number is that I'll be doing this evil work on be moving this over onto this. Well the only thing all right so here's so here's here's the actual waste. This is a Mark VI um, Jetta cluster, but I had only wanted it for this portion where my index finger is to my thumb, everything between here. Just because I wanted the front 
face piece for the purpose of putting this front face piece to go here on this GTI cluster cluster here door. I actually moved the needles um, where they are now, so don't get distracted by by that. Also, too, this is also temporary because. What's coming in would be a Sirocco one, a, a Sirocco unit. So the Sirocco cluster, when that comes, will have the same outline like this, exact same outline like this, and but it will come so same outline like this, but it will come looking like this. So it's like looking sort of like looking at this. But you, um, but you get rid of these two bulges. These would be much more recessed and smaller. They'll be shorter or shorter this way. So when it's done, so the idea is, so I'm trying to get these two. Um, these two what my thumb is tapping at when the, when I get this Sirocco one is going to fit um, fit flush exactly like the Jetta one here so the Mark 6 Jetta center console and Mark 6 Jetta cluster um, fits perfectly in a Mark 5 Golf but it's kind of this this one was kind of a waste because I'd purchased it only just to get this to hold and mount into the cluster. The front piece, what is what I don't like about these clusters is that the front piece here is actually what holds the mounts. So the front piece here is what, what actually mounts it to the dashboard. Likewise, here again, the front piece is attached, I mean, has the actual mounts mounting points so that is the thing all right and also to the mark well these two clips could I kind of line up no they don't they don't but the fact is this is what fits the, what fits the physically fits the mark 5 so just taking out the internals the internals on the back and use it on that and should be good to go and then I'll just take the interior out of this take the interior of this put into that um, delete the immobilizer information off of it and then the sell this and then sell this housing and everything as a complete unit to somebody on eBay somewhere they'll, they'll like it Although I do prefer the look of the blue needles as opposed to these red ones here. Yeah, I definitely do prefer the blue needles, so I'll be keeping those. The other reason for going with the going and getting an actual Sirocco one is that the bezel, um, the gauges. So on this one, the face of the gauges, it's... Um, themselves itself rather <clears throat> actually has a chrome ring around it that is a selling point which on the GTI one it doesn't the chrome ring is on the outside so this chroming on the outside is of no use to me um, so when I put the GTI one on yeah when I put the GTI one here on I could have kept his them I could have kept the no let's see what I would have kept the jet off well the rings can't come off with a dial that would be kind of kind of very messy otherwise I prefer for the red line I prefer the GTI's um 
red line. This looks more racy in my opinion, or it looks a bit, looks a bit more exciting. Because I'm accustomed to seeing this on my in my car already on a daily basis. The other pet peeve is that the Jetta comes in miles per hour. I'm a metric person, so I prefer seeing kilometers per hour. So even if I can get get it here in small circles, although my existing GTI is actually in miles per hour and you have a small kilometers per hour on the inside, but like a pet peeve. Like a pet peeve, but well, time to get to work and get this all done. Okay, well, first, first things first, gotta find install this cracky virus infected um, bandolo thing off of this CD and see what happens, and then learn how to use this thing. Well, this thing came with more cables than I had originally anticipated. Okay, so here we are. My Mark V Golf GTI bonnet open. Of course, the bonnet must be open. Or what, what other better way to spend the day than having the bonnet open? So <clears throat> here it is. I have loaded up my existing immobilizer information since from my car stock mark 5 um, <clears throat> gti instrument cluster I used a shady copy of a british or avdi to load up stuff so my mileage in kilometers that is there 7073 how it's stored here it's stored in um fact in what you call it in tens so this is actually correct um my VIN number, serial number, all of the stuff, the MAC address of the device or something. Don't worry, this is my this would have been my secret PIN number, but after after this video I'll be changing all of that. So it become the whole whole thing became becomes a copy and paste process. So when I am done. So I had to. So copy and paste. I just copied this and just saved it into a little text document just for my later revision. And also be paste this data in to a new cluster, and then I can generate a new pin so that none of you all can steal my car. So yes. So there is my quote unquote zero pin, um, secret pin for now. Zero one zero one four. Sorry, zero one zero four nine. It's a five G pin, so there's a leading zero in front. But no worry, it will be changed. So at the end of this process. So no, you all can't go around stealing my car in the event that you have this, because this pin is not going to be valid when I'm done with it. I can set my own pin. Ah, so step through the process to go out and get sorry go back inside grab the new the mark 6 cluster gti which i'll be putting into so the mark 6 gti cluster i'll be putting it into the mark 6 jetta um shrouding which is perfect which fits perfectly for the mark 5 um gti as shown as will be shown here so this goes so so across and yeah that is going to be that removing the cluster is the easy part just pulling out um pulling out this which is already loose all right i'll do it off air without the camera i should lower the steering wheel so you all can see what's happening Shit. anyway anyway yeah Remove this, access two bolts, drop the steering wheel down, and be good to go. So, for those of you who may have been wondering, this is what the back of a Mark V cluster looks like. It is different from that of a Mark VI and very different from that of a Mark IV. Um, so, it's been, so the cluster has been, existing cluster has been removed for the purpose of.
just doing stuff to it yeah so there we go yeah why they did it why they make it different from the mark 4 and make the mark 6 different i have no idea but oh so the point is to make up so So this is a Mark 5, that's a Mark 6. As you can see, the Mark 6 has the, this, this is the GTI um, gauges. The gauges are GTI, but the gauges don't have the ring. The chrome ring is on the outside for the GTI. So the GTI would have two large, two large circles sticking out, which wouldn't fit with the Mark 5 dashboard. So. Hence, I had to get the Mark VI Jetta cluster to do this in. So, but when I get the Sirocco um, gauges and faceplate, this will look, um, it will be a proper look when it's actually done. Yeah, so the first thing we connect is the Mark V connect at the back, Mark VI connect at the back. I would simply, this would plug into the back of the mark six and this plugs this right here plugs into the back of into the mark five on the inside that's how this will work this right here is for Hosimar Anguin work it um, Leon work it um, who else Isaac everybody in the VW society crew um, Power Lewis Folks who sort of wanted to see it but didn't know. Um, oh, it's no dirty engine bay fix. So, what I have here, yes, what I have here is a Mark VI instrument cluster in a Mark V. Um, all of this emo work, immobilizer work that I just did car running happy 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 I just need to just change them change the miles um, I don't like I mean change the mileage um, I don't like yeah wants to change your automator close to, to fit this that I had before fit the um, mileage I had on this and then do the coding so that is that picture here is a five door mark um, five door golf I'm gonna change this to a three door and then there's some coding things um, I had to leave the not um, leave the front fascia and stuff off because I had to pull off this face plate a couple times to do a whole bunch of immobilizer work so anytime you all need me to do any airbag stuff these things here just come to me are we good? Now let's get it done. Oh, let me touch the gas. All right, so this is for those who were curious. All right, so this is what. <clears throat> This is what the finished product looks like. Switch off. Ignition on. Gonna do a I'm gonna do a coding right now that shortly. That's going to get the moment it switches switch on, the backlight comes on, regardless of what happens. Um but let me the error messages had disconnected the battery before, so. Yeah, so, all gauges are working. The only problem though, is that the, because it's a Mark V, yeah, because it's a Mark V steering wheel, I can't get the menu button to cycle through 
the actual menu items on display. This is um, due to the Mark V steering controller and the body control module. I'd have to put in the Mark VI body control module to make that all work. So let me take, put down the park brake to get out of the park. Uh, steering steering here needs to be um, recalibrated and stuff. I mean, yeah, we need the fault codes. Traction control that need to fix airbag that need to do up as well. Um, clear all that and stuff. Um, tire pressure monitoring system. Yeah, that because the battery was disconnected. So daylight running light. Um, okay, let's switch this on to. Okay, so when you switch this off, you get it in DRL mode. Switch is on. Yeah, that's more like it. Yeah, so let's put it in reverse. Oh, yeah, so the D1 now works. Okay. Yeah, let's put it in reverse. Back this up. Back this up off of the drive. I'm reversing right now, so. Yeah, so I have to now figure out this new problem of how to get this. So I have to buy a Mark 6 GTI, a Mark 6 multifunction steering wheel with the steering controller underneath it so that I can get that done. Now, this is the Jetta faceplate. I'm going to be replacing this with the Sirocco R. Possibly, um, possibly the diesel one for the front for the front piece, say because that one has the same GTI finish, and the backing, the actual face, the actual gauge itself, replace that with the Sirocco R1, but I'll keep the blue needles though, that'll do. So, yes, that's it for now.